So today we've got a special event going on uh, in the neighborhood. This is the Canadian Food Grains Bank Charity Harvest. There's a group of 10 of us farm families in this area get together and put in a crop, the proceeds of which go to the Canadian Food Grains Bank to help with uh, aiding with hunger around the world and in Canada. It's a great community opportunity and we have a lot of fun with it. So uh, the Bear Lake Growing Project that we are members of is one of many growing projects around Canada. Uh, I don't honestly know how many there are, but there are probably 40 or 50 projects around Canada that uh, grow a crop, harvest it, and the proceeds go to the organization. So uh, we're harvesting a field of hard red spring wheat, so that's milling wheat that would be used for bread. Uh, we've got a mix of, of harvest equipment out here. We've got a couple brand new uh, modern combines from local dealers and we've got an assortment of vintage combines from local enthusiasts around here. Uh, some of them are as old as 1950 and uh, the guys that operate them have a lot of fun doing that. This is the eighth year for this harvest. Uh, it involves 10 families, uh, all from the, uh, the Emerson Trail uh, Bear Lake area and we get support from local suppliers, equipment dealers, and uh, individuals through Sponsor Acre program. Proceeds from this, the, the grain will get hauled in to the elevator and sold, uh, and the Food Grains Bank gets the money from that sale. With our group, we basically have, as I mentioned, 10 families, and we do sort of a rotation where each family uh, gives up a small amount of their land for that season to grow this crop. Uh, this year it was donated by the Bayer family. Um, so I think we're, we're kind of on the second time around for people. Um, it's, it's a good way to have it. Nobody really gives up a, a huge amount of, of land for a long term. Everybody again does a, does a little and, and together we get it done. I got involved because of a couple things. One, I think, you know, the fabric of agriculture has a lot to do with community and helping each other out, uh, pulling together, all those, all those good things. Um, you know, I think it's a great example of, of the thought that if we all do a little, together we do a lot. And uh, to me, that's a, that's a great concept for, uh, for a charitable organization. I think the best thing about days like this and projects like this is the sense of community, at least in my opinion. You know, we're, we're supporting a really good cause, uh, ending hunger, uh, both domestically and around the world, but it's also a great way to connect with your neighbors, uh, people that used to farm in the area and have retired. A uh, great way to support that sense of community. It's kind of like an old-fashioned barn raising. We really hope that this effort will continue on for, for many years to come. As I said, we, this is eight years for us now. Uh, I don't really see a whole bunch that would stop us. Um, our biggest challenge is access to land, but so far we've got a good group of people that are willing to donate a small portion of their land base uh, toward this project every year.